Hi, this is Sherry Veronica. The name Winston Arrow Bovell came up in your true crime stories. It came up on Instagram. But I think the person who put up the story should add that Winston Arrow Bovell and Rodney Ricardo Ward, they won on appeal. It's not because they may not have committed the crime okay they should have made that part apparent it's not that they these two the ex-police constable winston errol bovell and his friend rodney ricardo ward it is not that they were not guilty they won on appeal because of the judge the judge what he did during trial was brought under review, okay? Grounds for the appeal were that the summing up was wholly inadequate, that the judge usurped the function of the jury and drew, and he drew inferences from the facts, okay? And those inferences prejudiced the defense of Bovell and Ward. So the attorneys that Bovell and Ward hired did a very good job. They did a very good job because all the things that happened at trial that were not within the confines of what should have been happening in the trial were brought up on appeal. And it also came up on appeal that the judge made references to things that weren't part of the trial he he referenced things that were not part of this the discovery okay they, they were not part of the evidence within that trial at that time the judge had actually made inferences and referred to things that were outside of the boundaries of that particular trial whatever happened at trial that was not within the boundaries of that particular trial trial were brought up on appeal and Bovell and Ward were successful on appeal. Now they were charged for violating a known homosexual on the beach, you know, Trevor's Way in the mid-1980s. And they were given, well, Bovell was given 10 years and Ward was given seven years and part of the appeal was that the sentencing was excessive that's that was part of the what the attorneys brought up as part of their appealing the sentence from the lower court but yeah they they got their freedom okay the two got their freedom when their matter was brought up on appeal but but even as an older senior citizen Bovell okay was brought up on charges of another violation of a minor okay so that's why I say that it wasn't as though they didn't do it it's because when you go to trial everything must be within the confines of what is allowed to be said and not said during the trial okay so the judge has to inform the jury properly. They have to be properly advised and know what to do and what not to do, what to look at and what not to look at. And if that is not done, any good attorney would know. They will see it happening during the trial. And if the defendant has enough money and you know they they they, they, they want their freedom and they have family members that will probably give money towards the appellate uh, part of the trial yeah the attorneys would recommend um going through an appellate process and they get more money and you know if they're good at what they're doing the defendants would see freedom but like i always said and i am saying again the fact that you you get freedom on appeal does not mean does not mean you were not guilty it means that errors were committed during the trial okay so yeah this guy winston errol bovell 
he came up in your court again and then I received notification that that's his lifestyle and when he first came up in your news they said he was a married man with children which is not unsurprising it's not surprising that shouldn't surprise you at all because a lot of people hide behind the marriage okay they hide behind being you know they, they will get married to make themselves to make things look better for them when they move around in in public they say oh I'm, I'm a married man i have kids so people wouldn't suspect that they're doing things you know that they shouldn't be doing but that's neither here or there because you know that's not the case especially in barbados that's not the case okay so yeah so um i had this in my chat we were talking about it i got um some um f copies of it from just from the archives and i don't have a photo of winston errol bovell i have they put up one the crimes the true crime stories put up a doctored photo a photo i don't know why they took out his face i i just do not understand why they did that but if you have a photo of winston errol bovell winston errol bovell please send it to me so i can put it up with this particular uh, blog uh, when he first came up in your news he was 37 years old 37 years old the last time i saw him in your news he was 67 years old 67 that's a span okay span of 30 years so it shows that he didn't change he has not changed okay so if you have a photo of him please send it to me okay i want to thank you this is sherry veronica Help me spread the word about Naked Departure via social media. Subscribe and share to show support and love for our channels.